I mean, download IPOB Community Radio and also download Simple Radio. You search for Radio Biafra London on Simple Radio. This is where it all started by our Supreme Leader Mazen Namdi Okuchuku Khan, who is currently in the Nigerian DSS dungeon, despite being freed by the Nigerian courts, but the Nigerian government refused to do so. Therefore, we must continue. It doesn't matter what happens, they can never break the will of IPOP. In the temporal absence of Mazen Namdi Okuchuku Khan, the DOS is in command, Headed by Mazi Chika Edusiem, he is in command for the meantime. That is how it is. Therefore, we must continue in making sure that Biafra is restored. It is our only goal, our ultimate goal, that Biafra will be restored in truth and in all honesty. I once again urge each and every one of you to call your friends and we wish us to join in to listen to the gospel of liberation the gospel of freedom the gospel of african liberation that is what we preach here that you may know the truth and the truth shall set you free without understanding knowing and understanding the truth you can never, never be free. You will become or remain a slave, remain subjugated. Therefore, we must continue preaching this gospel until Biafra is restored. And for your information, this is the most important part of this restoration effort, education. Debates, debates, education, awakening, bowing to superior argument. Without sentiment, you remove, se kill sentiment in this struggle, please. So that you will always come with a neutral mindset. Once you, your mindset, you make sure that you liberate your mindset from every type of shenanigans and you become neutral i am telling you honestly you will easily know the truth but once you burden your mindset with uh, different types of sentiments there will be no way for you to understand and know the truth because you'll be blurred by all those sentiments religious sentiments ethnic sentiments any time that is the this is the reason why nigeria is a hell hole because people don't care what matters to them is their sentiments religious affiliation tribal affiliation and sentiment so they don't care about the truth and they don't know it that's why nigeria has been going backwards and will never survive it a people laden, heavy laden, with tribal bigot, religious bigot. That country can never survive. I am telling you, nothing binds Nigerians together. Nothing. Only the politicians are bound together with their looting, corruption. Only. That is it. But the people, nothing binds them together. If you want to rise up. Other, others will bring you down with um, sentiments. I mean, religious sentiments or tribal sentiments. They don't care about the message. What matters to them is, I mean, where the messenger belongs. From which religion? Oh, how can a Muslim say the truth? How can a, a Christian, how can you believe a Christian? He is an infidel. Oh, how can you even believe a Muslim? What he's saying, he says, you know, he's an unbeliever. So don't discard his message. This is what has been going on in Nigeria. And that is why Nigeria is quickly falling apart. It's a very big pity that the only thing binding Nigeria is the politicians. 
from east, west, north, south. The, politi the Nigerian politicians are bound together under one oath of maintaining the fake unity of that fake one Nigeria for their own interest. Because the creator of Nigeria hold them together, unite them together under corruption, under corrupt practices, under wickedness, in order to be indirectly in charge of the population. That is why today I want to ask a question. It will be an interactive. You know, sometimes I open up so that people will contribute, we learn from each other. Are you hearing me? Just hold on one second. But welcome. This is Radio Biafra House of Service. Sorry, I neglected something at the background. So we must continue in what we are doing. As I was saying, this is the reason why I want us to discuss something today. Because today is going to be interactive. I will talk less, honestly. And hear from our people, contributions. Sometimes I go down, I ask this question owing to what is going on. Even I put it on my timeline. Owing to what the, the level of neocolonialism in Africa. What the, uh, sometimes, you know, I, I, want, I want us to ask ourselves or to have a, a kind of debate what do you think with the level of neocolonialism in most African countries? You know, it is uh, something, it is no more secret that genuine liberation will, will be bloody, very, very bloody. Now I ask the question, are we really ready for this? <laughs> because him, uh, talking is uh, very cheap. It's very easy and cheap. Talking. But uh, doing is another thing. Do you know why I say this? The Europeans, the West, the colonial, the colonialists, they have found a very 
you know, solid way of holding us hostage. Through the through the government they give us. They not they give they impose on us. Everything we are doing, everything we are practicing, is just like the you know, when you reformat your phone, for example, everything inside the phone, you erase it, you clean it off, you clean it off. Now you start afresh. Imagine you didn't record your, register your numbers in your memory card. You just remove memory card, remove a, another hard disk like Google or any other software. Imagine the whole numbers you recorded on your phone. And all of a sudden, your phone was cleaned off. And you start afresh. Start afresh. Thousands of numbers which you rec you registered in your phone, you start afresh. Do you do you know how cumbersome it is? How cumbersome it will be for you to start recording the whole. I mean, registering the whole number. Some of them you will not even remember again. This is a this is you know, just a fraction of what happened to us Africans. They came, they wiped everything clean from us. Sometimes when I think about these uh, tears, I, honestly speaking, I'll be shedding tears. Privately, only me, I'll be shedding tears. They, they, they erased us clean so that nothing, you know, nothing, you, 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 we, ju we are just people, all the people, but start afresh to learn how to speak, how to crawl. How to you know crawl? How to stand up? How to walk? Notwithstanding that we are old people, older human beings than those that are teaching us, they cleaned off everything concerning us. They start infusing their own their own in us, and we start learning from zero. Do you think? And. They mischievously always mislead, you know, into mistakes so that, you know, uh, uh, we'll be learning. We'll be perpetual learners, perpetual pupils, not even students, pupils, kindergartners. Uh, during the election, the, a whole African country. Election, the Europe will send their election monitoring team to come and supervise. Oh, how the Euro I say how yeah. they you know they impose borders. Have you ever think in this magnitude? Do you know what it means imposing borders? Imposition of borders. They separate people that sub they that should be inseparable. And they join the people like in Nigeria, people that should have no business being together as a company. And they left us there. They they bind us there. Say, hey, you must stay there. You are killing yourself. You are eating your people's your flesh of yourself. Yeah, you must stay there. Have you ever thought if um, the Europeans had intervened in Malaysia, Singapore, Singaporean? Uh, I mean unification, let me call it unification. And in 1962, and maybe the Europeans, American, the West say, no, you have to continue. Because they saw that they cannot move on. They miscalculated at daily time. They were different uh, nations, so, but they said, no, it is better big to be big. So that we will have a bigger impact. Once we are big, you know, it will be calculated the advantages without understanding that whether you are who you, without a common value system, you are nothing. That is the, what, you know, sound judgments of the Europeans. That is why they, you know, they separated themselves according to their values nationalities 
Iceland is a country that is not up to 500,000 people, but they are living very well. They removed themselves, from, they separated from, I think, Denmark. Very tiny country with tiny population, but they are living standardly. I think last two World Cups, they qualified for World Cup and played even against Nigeria. I think in the same group, although Nigeria beat them, I think 2 0. Iceland, as I'm talking, we have their friends that are in Iceland that are in the, uh, chopping out through. As I'm speaking to you, maybe some of them are listening. Very tiny country. Not a, Latvia is there. Different other countries, small, very little countries that are not even up to all local governments, but they are countries in Europe. They understand this that the first, the most important thing of, I mean, the most important factor of uh, forming a country is value, value system, common value system. But in Africa, they, they imposed everything on us. Language, they made sure to clean off Nchibidi, our original way of, ancient way of writing. The Asians retained their own. Do you know that Japan retained their own way of writing? Had it been Japanese language were cleaned off like our own, Maybe today they will be writing English. They will be proud to be speaking English as they are, uh, you know, writing English. They are, they are local writing. Alphabets would have gone off. The same way in Africa. The only country in Africa that we are able to retain their original write-up, I mean writing, way of writing, is Ethiopia. Because they, we are never colonized. And do you know why Ethiopia is not doing so well as it's supposed to be? It's just like um, a tree can never make a forest. Every other country around Ethiopia, every other country it was colonized, suffering the influence of neocolonialism. So what, what will one country do? What will one person? A tree can never make a forest. Instead, uh, you know, the desertification will even kill that tree. Are you hearing me? It is only Ethiopia that retained their language. They are aware of their ancient writing method. That is, they are Amharic. You go and research it. Only, only. Apart from that, no other sub-Saharan -Sub Africa retained their way of writing. No. In South Africa, the Europeans came and formulated it. oh chineke i don't know sometimes i do you know the boas the huguenots of france uh, the english different uh, people from europe that speaks different languages they came to south africa as colonizers Though they are different people with different different nations, but they saw themselves now in a foreign nation, in a foreign country, but they have a common agenda, common interest. Do you know what, first of all, they did? They said, we cannot work together. You, as an Englishman, you come from Europe, me, I'm a Dutch, the other person is a Portuguese, the other person is a Spanish, a Spaniard, and French, how can we be speaking all these our languages? We cannot understand each other. And we cannot ever dream of going to learn African language so that you become our common language. Do you see, do you see, uh, do you see, uh, you know, uh, their pride? They say they cannot stoop so low to start speaking Zulu. Or which is this other language in South Africa to be their common language? They said no. They said though in Europe we are fighting. You no, know, we can fight. We have been fighting each other. Uh, Anglo-Saxon, uh, Germanic tribe. We have been fighting. But wait, we are now in a foreign land, but we have common 
interest. So, for us to be together, we have to form a language. A language that will be for us. I want you to understand, you know, last Saturday, I tried to make it, but I couldn't. I didn't want to rush because of the submission I wanted to make. Understanding the power of man. It will be on next Saturday. The power of man. We underestimate the power of man. We started looking for the power of God. That is where we, we missed it all. We started looking for invisible spirits without understanding that the, the ultimate power of man. That one will be another teaching. I think for Saturday, please. So, these Europeans, these white people in South Africa that came from different nationalities in Europe, wisely, do you know what they did? They said, no, let us form a common language that will unite us together so that Englishman can understand it, German person can understand it. No person will say, no, you want to English, you want to dominate. Uh, Portuguese will not say, no, French, we cannot speak your language. You want to bring French, yeah, no. Now, they sat down and used, as, a, as human beings, as a man, they formulated their language, and it is called African. <laughs> hey, uh, how, how I wish that we can reach this level of knowledge. Oh, when we understand what human being can do, this African you are hearing, you are, you are speaking in South Africa, it was formed less than maybe 200 years back. It became a language. With every syllable, the, every word now, in, you know, for you to understand what man can do, I want you to understand it. Now, the formed African, it become the language of apartheid, official language. Even black people have to try, try to learn it. They were imposed to learn it in order to get uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, employment. African. Whereas there are uh, different languages in Africa that have been existing for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years back. There, still there. But then they, they, they said, no, we cannot speak that. And they learned, they formulated a language called African. Do you see, uh, you know, the importance of knowledge? Do you see that? Until today, the right they speak, it become the people that formed it, that generation, they pass it down to their younger generation. Their younger generation grew and pass it down to the gener generation, to generation, to generation, until today is what they are speaking in South Africa, the white man's language. He has a mixture of English, uh, Portuguese, Spanish, all. They mix it together and form a different language. That is what man can do. That is knowledge. They have food there. They have different, all the African languages there. But they minimize it. They, brought it. they say, we cannot learn your language. You see that? The same thing happened in the place you are called Israel today. What they, they are, this is where you are seeing is uh, just fake for your information. The the language the, the, the it was extinct. There was nothing like a Hebrew, nothing, nothing like a Hebrew. It was extinct. Are you hearing me? One person, Eliezer ben Yehuda, in nineteenth century, eighteen something. He started concocting this Hebrew that is being spoken in Israel today. One man, one man. And the first person that learned that language was his son. He confined his son and, and wife into the house that even he locked them up day and night so that they cannot even hear the chippings of birds. So that 
his son learned the first person to learn the hebrew you are seeing today are calling it hebrew no it is not it is a concoction of one person which now they introduce and say oh it's a hebrew language today it is now a language of a nation a country do you see what man can do where are we in this world sometimes i ask this now i do tell people in this world i'm telling you we just uh, scott the people no the restoration of biafra is is what we are going to use to change the status quo are you hearing me i know i think you understand what i'm saying some people say i should not be asking whether you understand because they are understanding so are we ready for what we are in that is a big question <laughs> because the restoration of biafra it goes beyond the flag independence the level of new colonialism in africa today it is in in another level you know during the time of um the advancement or the industrialization or during the time of the europeans awakening all those things they didn't have any super any superior power that imposes on them no that is the luck they had we in africa today we have other superior power the european powers other superior powers that it is their interest on their interest for us to be underdeveloped that is why gavi wrote the the uh, uh, how the europeans underdeveloped africa and they still they are still underdeveloping because our misery people suffering is for their own interests and the worst part of it is that they have discovered that africa is so rich what they didn't discover even before in the 19th century in the 18th 19th 20th, 20th century they have now discovered many things and to live for them to live let go it will be bloody that's why i ask are you re are we really ready for this <laughs> oh we know when reality hits there you know our in a coup you know just to satisfy ourselves uh, no talking is very cheap the level of new colonialism in africa mostly in nigeria it is to a stinking level can you tell me the rationale behind a so-called government nigerian government that normally is made for the betterment of the people for protecting the people they are complicit number one in killing their own people by the international conspiracies by big gate do you tell me, can you tell me the rationale behind promoting gmo food that have been rejected every other place that uh, you know different places of the world if they see you you plant gmo food they can you go to jail they prosecute you you go to jail but officially nigeria is promoting it to feed to the population what is this rationale for your information i'm asking it is above my understanding please i want to when the line opens people should you know tell me what is the rationale behind this this is that every bad policy our nigerian government they are they, they accept it and they will be spreading through official media whitewashing evil against the population that it is good tell amaze the tell amaze that have been you know all the gmo seedlings that have been you know certified to be evil that to cause sicknesses diseases nigerian government officially is uh, you know promoting it officially can you tell me the rationale do you get what i'm saying what is the rationale behind 
taking, you know, a government will be borrowing money, made to borrow money from the, the people that want you dead in a very difficult situation the, to lend you money and make the people lazy so that you will be paying through your nose. People will be suffering and the government will allow it. The government will certify it. All the evil policies, anti-people policies, the governments, governments of the country will allow, African governments will allow it. This is why there was a protest in Kenya. Borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. They don't care. They, they prevent, they, they make the government say, do not promote uh, human resources in your country. In African countries that they have, you know, youths are more in number. Vi youths are, you know, they have energy. You put the policies, make the youths work, you know, uh, do things so that to promote human resources. IMF, the West, when we talk about IMF, International Monetary Fund or a World Bank, oh, these are the Western policies since after the World War, Second World War in order to stifle, put, keep Africans in, in perpetual poverty. And the government in place, they will allow it, and they will be given a task of coming to defend that policy and tell them, convince the people that it is good. If you come out and say, no, why ask question, they will, they will send the military to kill you. The military, the police they are sending, they are also black people that are suffering from this, suffering the effect of these bad policies. Can you tell me the rationale? With all this, I understand that the level of neocolonialism in African countries, it is too high. Genuine liberation will come, only it will be very bloody. I don't know uh, whether you understand what I'm saying, are you ready for this? I'm not uh, you know talking only talking, making. Are you ready? When do the calls? Can you be around? Can you answer the call? Africa, we are in a bigger mess than we think. When I look at, at everything, I say no, there is no hope. I am telling you. There is a higher power that is controlling African governments. And first of all, the governments they put in, they impose on us, it's not our natural system. It's not our natural thing. Never. Everything imposed. Language imposed. Religion imposed. Uh, system imposed. Education imposed. Ayogalakwa Nijia, because that's what I'm asking. Are we ready for this? Because it's going to be bloody. You see what happened in Europe? I mean, sorry, in, in um, Kenya? You see what happened? I will play to you the clip of very courageous young man in court. A Kenyan. In court. Now, before I play that, let me listen. Just listen to this. Nigeria. Just let me read this news headline. Nigeria government seeks China funding for Ebadan Abuja Kaduna Kano rail projects. This is, I don't know, the umpteenth time. They are, all these are, they will talk, they have collected uh, 22.7 billion. Two point something billion for real. Now you ask, what then is the duty? What is the benefit of 200 and something million people? Do you see why they don't take you as anything? Because 200 and something million, 220 or 30 million people, they are, they are just chaff. So, you are only good to give your, to be, you know, for your organs to be harvested. 
to be, you know, for your organs to be harvested in order to keep real people alive. The Europeans, the Chinese, the Westerners, to keep them alive. Because you are contributing nothing. Do you see, do you see how they use our governments in order to relegate to human capacity that should be number one? Number one resources of the country is the human capacity. Ask a Japanese, what is your resources or what is your main resource? He will tell you, say, oh, we Japanese are the resources of Japan. Ask a Nigerian, what is your resources? He will tell you, we have uh, crude oil, we have gas, we have uh, California. Oh, our natural resources. He will start telling you things that are on the ground. Relegating now. There you will start understanding that as a human being, as a Nigerian, you are nothing. What matters is your natural resources. Nigeria government seeks China fund for a Badan Abuja Kaduna Kano rail projects for the umpteenth time. But listen again, let me play this again. Listen, please. Listen. How bad is the corruption in the Nigerian government or in the Nigerian <laughs> system? All some of the things I recovered were returned back to, you know which people will recover those things from. For instance, there was this case of somebody will recover 80 S-Class, Mercedes-Benz car, brand new houses, farms, motorcycles, and so forth. In a house in Jabi, on that information, we got intelligence, and we went there, we saw all those things. I wrote to the customs, the DG of customs, do these people pay custom duties on, on these vehicles? 80, 80, Brand new S class, armored, armored plated. The CG of course, on said no, they didn't pay. I wrote to Federal Inland Revenue Service. Did this people pay tax? If you are importing, if you are, if you have this kind of vehicles, if you have money to buy this kind of vehicles, you should pay enormous tax to the Nigerian government. They said no, they don't have any record of them paying tax. So we went to court. We got a, another official. And then uh, the court asked us to, you know, the, uh, we should take custody of those things. It's interim for official pending the hearing of the case. So I did it. I did. I did a memo to the Attorney General to brief him of what we were doing. But later on, the Attorney General said that it, all, all the cases I investigated, they never mandated me. One of them was, you know, came through Panama Papers. You know about the Panama Papers? Mm -hmm. A Nigerian senator, former military governor, was mentioned that he has properties in offshore islands. Since I didn't have the structures to investigate this issue, which is overseas, you know, I, I, I went to the DG, NIA, said, look, please, let us work together to do this investigation. And they did the investigation. The report was sent to me. I sent one to the president and I sent one to the attorney general that this man has proper over 200 million pounds in the offshore islands. A former governor, <laughs> a sitting senator. Um, you know, he's no longer in the Senate. No, no, at, at the time. At that time, he was a sitting senator. But he had been president of the uh, Nigerian Senate. But nothing happened. Not till today. What of the $69 billion? I got a letter, I didn't prompt them, from an American law firm saying that they have assets or assets to a bank account in Texas that has over 69 billion US dollars, proceeds from stolen crude oil. And the, the, nine, the nine billion, 69, the proceeds from the crude oil is 60 billion. The nine billion is, they mentioned the name, Patrick Aziza, who was, um, National Security Advisor. And I, 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 I thought it was beyond me. So I wrote to the president that this is what this firm has, you know, alleged. Yes, that they, they are asking for money, that if we make some payment available, that they will give us the bank, not the, 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 the orders of the account number, the bank accounts, and so forth and so on. So I went to the president and said, approve. So that we can recover this money. 69 billion is a lot of money. 
of course, uh, nothing came out of him. Up to now. I also did a letter to uh, uh, Attorney General to brief him. But do you know what he said? The day he saw my wife, he laughed in a very sarcastic manner. Uh, I think Obla Obla claimed that he would recover 69 billion US dollars. I said, recover the money. He was being sarcastic. I would like to recover the money when you didn't act as the Attorney General. You know, somebody had said, look, we have 69 billion dollars of Nigerian money. In a, in a bank account in America. And the government did not take action? Nothing. Look, it's in the media. They, when, uh, if you look at Punch, Punch, Punch published the story. Punch published the story. In, even when Buaru was in office, he did. I think if I, I would download it and send it to you, hmm. nothing was done. It feels like the government you worked for was a failure in that respect. I, well, I have said so, that I was disappointed because I believe so much in, you know, the former president. You know, and I worked passionately for him. But, but I, I mean, would you attribute the underdevelopment of our country today to corruption? Why not? Look, if you, if you, if you can, you know, somebody can take $69 billion out of Nigeria. If we have $69 billion, our universities will change our protagonists, our secondary schools. You know, we'll have water. We'll, you know, and this is just a tip, that is just a tip of the iceberg. There are so much more. More. Do you hear it? Remember, I read the news headline that Nigeria, let me check the date of the news. I think it was yesterday that Nigeria government seeks, seeks uh, China funding for a Badan Abuja Kaduna Kano Rail projects. July 8th, that was yesterday's news. Yes, I saw it yesterday. Although the whole thing, nothing for Biafra land, nothing. Always in the north and the west. So, uh, all this, when you check it, uh, I think it's uh, whether $3 billion, $2 billion, $3 billion, something like that. But somebody is having $69 billion of stolen Nigerian money in his account. $69 billion. billion. But Nigeria is forced. The, the people, the West are protecting these people. And they say this is a tip on the iceberg, which means this is just a fraction. A fraction of the amount of money being looted, distributed everywhere, Nigerian money. But Nigeria is being made. These people, they see all these things. They are protecting them in their various countries. But they use IMF. They say, come and learn. Once you, they give you, uh, uh, you know, uh, they borrow money. They lend you money, $10 billion, to service, servicing the, 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 the debt. You'll be paying through your nose. And the people, it will bring inflation because no productivity. And the people will be suffering, eating their faces. Their because of suffering. Something that is being imposed by the West. Now, and all these things is these billions and billions of dollars in, 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 uh, I mean, in, of Nigeria's money in the account is what they are using free, free of charge, doing lending, living good lives, lending their people money, you know, because you cannot keep money in a, in a, in a bank and it becomes dormant. No, they'll be using it for their businesses. Remina around. The other day I said it, $69 billion, if it was for only one year, it can even double that amount. But they are not talking about this. Do you see where I say the level of neocolonialism, the hypocritical world we are, because of our suffering is their gain. That's why I say genuine liberation will be very bloody. And I ask, are you really ready for this? Because liberation Genuine liberation means you don't need no people, no citizen will ever launder money, steal money, and send to America. That is genuine liberation. Do you think America will be happy 
for that, for you as a country, that no citizen will no more, no longer loot your country's fund and uh, send it to America. Do you think they will be happy? Because it is all those money, all those funds, all those uh, materials, diamond, and all those looted uh, properties. These are the things that makes them wealthy. Are you hearing me? These are the things that made them wealthy. That's why I ask the new liberation girl, are you ready for it? now. Just like a signing, you want to go to army, you want to go to army. They'll give you form. They'll tell you, you can die anytime. Oh. You'll be sent without notification. I mean, with the slightest notification to anywhere to go and die, defend your country and die. You, you we take it can take you, it can take your life at any time. I do you really want to sign up? You say yes. I signed okay. Are you hearing me? We are not trying to tell ourselves, okay, you know, okay, uh, let us massage words so that uh, we tell you what you want to hear. Because the world, I mean, the West have structured the world in a way that it continues favoring them forever. So, what we are trying to do is genuine liberation means removing that our parts that they are looting and staging ourselves, pitching ourselves in a beneficial side. Which means the West will start losing all those oils they are taking free of charge. Do you know why they put uh, South to South, Niger debt, all these things in order to cause confusion in our land so that the brothers will not trust his brother. They tell you, no, you are not Igbo. Igbo man wants to dominate you. So you now feel happy for America to dominate you, for Britain to dominate you by looting the resources in your land. Instead of, if you want to make noise, they tell you, hey, you want Igbo man to dominate you. Do you see? And you and they push you into fighting your brother. Do you see why I tell you that we are in a bigger mess than we think? Africans in general. And we in Nigeria, indigenous community, indigenous people, dear friends in particular, we are in a bigger mess than we think. I am telling you. That's why I ask, are we really ready for this? Are we really ready for this? Let's listen to the voice of look at look at what I have played this. I've been playing this on Radio Biafra. Let me play it again. Even yesterday I was not on air, but I played it. This is the first lady, the uh, I mean Sierra Leonean first lady. Listen. We are not given the free will to make decisions on our own mineral resources. Unfortunately. We are not given the free will to make decisions on our own mineral resources. There's always Big Brother who decides. You say we are not given, unfortunately, we are not given the free will to make decisions on our own resources, not their own resources, so our own resources. Now, genuine freedom means we having the authority on our own resources do you think uh, the people that have nuclear weapon do you think they will just they will just watch you say oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay do as you want do you think so when they were developing there was no superior power imposed upon them that is the law they have now the mess we are in is that we have superior power whether you like it or not it is them that will you know override everything they are in, they have nuclear weapons you don't have are you hearing me they have satellites on 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 the air on space you don't have you do you hear me so do you think that they will just leave everything and say oh yeah oh yeah 
Oh, let us. Oh, yeah, I'll leave you. You so that uh, they they will be missing the benefits. Do you know how many trillions of dollars being stolen from Nigeria in dollars? I mean, in financial money and in properties, in uh, gold, diamond, different rare earths from only Nigeria. Crude oil. Do you know how many trillions of dollars? that are pumped into America. I'm talking of America alone. I'm n I never talk about the UK. A what of Italy? Uh, all these places, do you know how many trillions of dollars each year? All this is, when we have the new liberation, they feel that they are going to miss all these things. Do you think that they will just keep quiet and say, oh yeah, oh yeah take, your, take your liberation <laughs> like that? It's going to be bloody. Um, are you the quality for this? So, because you know we like we love life, even if it means living under slavery. Average Igbo man love for life. I am telling you, I love for life. That's why, privately, personally, I am against this desperacy for our leader coming out. I I I am against it. Showing Nigeria that I did, I did desperate. Yeah, no, no, dear. Hey, all the desperate to come out. Yeah, weakness. Yeah, they show weakness. I know you could here. And they show her weakness. Oh, ultra airport at all costs. Which means Biafra could be sold for him to come out. It's part of the negotiation. Do you see the mess we are in? I know in a, in a bigger mess than we think. It's better we understand this so that we, we double, triple, quadruple, you know, centripole our effort, octonopole our efforts. Because Akadia Ijishiraike, for your information, they have made uh, anti us, anti people's policy to be a lucrative business for some of us, that is our politicians. And for your information, let me say this. If you are in this struggle, your motive is for financial gain. You are worse than you are worse than a politician. I am telling you honestly. If you are in this struggle, or maybe trying to use this struggle in order to make one money or the other, you are worse than the evil politicians you are all always abusing. You are worse than them. You are their own. They are, you know, normal politicians. You know them. We know that they are politicians, Nigerian politicians, that are evil and corrupt. But when you come and say, oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, we IPOB. We must get Biafra. And now you go back at the back and you are trying to do what? To use this struggle to make money or to climb up you, for your personal gain. You are more evil than the politicians we are insulting. I now go one years Let me uh, let me play this uh, clip of the Sierra Leonean first lady. There is something she saw something, and that's why she she had the courage to come out and speak. She saw she she know the mess we are in. But the worst part of it is that. Politicians, African politicians, Nigerians in particular, they are they are okay with it. They are okay with the situation. It does look at Tinubu promoting killer, killer. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, farm produce, killer crops, GMO. He doesn't care whether they signed uh, they signed into uh, law, the bill into law. Of uh, harvesting Nigerian people, Nigerian population organ without their consent. They sign it into law. Whether, uh, they, whether people or everybody dies, so and only them stand and be enjoying having billions every uh, every account everywhere in the world and mansions. That is not their problem. They love it. Do you see the mess we are in? That is, these are the monsters being created by the West through the system they impose on us. That is why I am saying the new liberation, 
<laughs> are we really ready for this? Not a uh, Are we really ready for this? Are we really ready? Do you see how they use uh, terrorism, Islamic terrorism, in order to bring down everywhere Boko Haram? They bring Boko Haram, they brought Boko Haram, now Fulani hitmen everywhere. Uh, the Sahel, they riddle the Sahel with terror terrorists so that it will give them the opportunity, the excuse to be there. America is there, Italy is there, uh, France is there in the desert. Oh, they have their base. Oh, they are fighting terrorists. We are around all those places they are. They are mining the gold, the cotton, rare minerals, everything. That's why the military boys notice this. They say, no. If we don't do anything, which means we, we die miserable deaths. It doesn't matter how bloody it will be. They pursued, sacked Americans. They are the West, they sacked them in general. France, get out of uh, our land. You are the people causing, bringing terrorists in order to justify your stay. Do you see? Are we ready for, for it? Because it's going to be bloody. <laughs> Continue listening. Fortunately, we are not given the free will to make decisions on our own mineral resources. There's always Big Brother who decides. And when you fight and say, no, we are not going to do this, they use the system to stop you. It's either they set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? That is set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? That is set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they created because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they created because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? That is set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? That is set you up with the opposition. They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They use the system. Why are they, what system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me?
They use the system. Why are they? What system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? They use the system. Why are they? What system? The government. Why are they using the system? The system they create because they are in charge of the system. They cannot use the system that they are not in charge. Are you hearing me? I will talk about our being at a lot. Because this is time of being at a lot. Therefore, once again, I welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends and well wishers. Even your enemies, do not deny them listening to this. Hello, the platform, please. Today is the 31st day. The, the 31st day of January 2024. Ta I was on air yesterday, but unfortunately, our community radio was having some issues, so I couldn't continue. Therefore, I invite each and every one of you to draw nearer to your listening devices. You can be listening to us via our satellite, or via satellite, please, because we are connected to satellite, free to a satellite. You can be hearing our voice. Also, our IPOB community radio is up and running. It is a very low data consuming application. Therefore, you should download the application. Do not um, only use your phone, your smartphone, to be watching content creation and or what not that thing you are carrying in your hand is just the whole world you are carrying in your hand only if you can know if you have internet connectivity you can be hearing our voice also from biafra television biafra digest radio biafra house of service IPOB Rapture Media and all myriads of them, myriads of platforms. Just ask Google, how can I listen to Radio Beer from London? And you will be given multiple choices. Therefore, you have no excuse not to listen to this gospel because all oh, it's your here. Forget what they call gospel. This is the real gospel we are preaching. The gospel of liberation. Both mental and physical liberation. The gospel of learning. The gospel of knowledge. Not a gospel of belief, please. Gospel of knowing. Knowledge. Because we, our ancestors, they struggle to know. They don't believe no, knowledge because knowledge is power. That is what we preach here. And that is what Mazen Namdekano started by telling us, touching the mindset, the mentality of black people, that the way black people reason is fundamentally flawed. And that is why we are lacking behind as black race, as Africans. When I I um, I research about this and I found out that is the truth. Your advancement is the way you reason. Your backwardness is the way you reason. That is it, and that is what IPB has tried to change. To change the way we reason, for us to reason like real human beings you understand that is what ipob stands for therefore today before i go on 
I will love to touch some. Oh yes, my people, on our well done no. Obodo Ninja don't carry sensors, boss out though. Or ya bring your ear close, make me yan. Anywhere you there, if na Biafra you be. Whenever they won't count sensors for Nigeria, Kukuma come back to Biafra land though. Make them count you in your own land. Because during election, they killed us in the north and Yoruba land. And now them still talk say we not get right to vote in their land. So time don't come, make we boast our population. And if you no fit return, sell and get for your house. Make you no participate because them go add on a number for the region where we not day. Another one be say, if you dare not and your tribe welcome back this is radio biafra house of service coming to you through radio biafra london i was abruptly you know shut off by well technical difficulties but uh, i tried everything and it was fixed there are some things i need to change honestly in my equipment and i will do that so we must continue therefore as i was saying do not forget that today is the ninth day of July 2024. Therefore, I was talking about the new colonialism, how strong it is, the rationale behind, behind using the system which the Europeans, which the West, the colonizers impose on us to hold us or help holding us hostage. <laughs> uh, the, let me uh, play, let me finish playing this because I want to open the line so that people will kite on no queer. Dikon. Are we ready for for or for the changes we want? Are we re really ready for the freedom which we are yearning for? Are we ready? Listen. We are not given the free will to make decisions on our own mineral resources. There's always Big Brother who decides. And when you fight and say, no, we are not going to do this, they use the system to stop you. It's either they set you up with the opposition and they'll be supporting the opposition against you from the back or they cause unnecessary chaos in your country so that you are not able to even govern. Do you see the do you see how smart the West is by setting up this system they call democracy? They must have option. <laughs> you understand? Either they are with the ruling government or they are with the opposition. If you make them vex, if you disagree with them, they'll go and support this next option. And the next option is the opposition. And they want to be in power. Do you see the mess we are in? Cycle upon cycle of deception. <laughs> Do you see it? Somebody in power is, is, do, is, is talking out of experience. They, they, they use the opposition. They go to opposition, say, we will put you into power, but uh, this is you play ball with it. They say, yes, ah! Let us be into power first. Do you see the mess we are in? Do you see the real, the real new colonialism? The mess we are into. Do you see that? We are in a very giant mess than we can imagine. As I said before, I continue saying, the luck the Europeans have, they didn't have upper power that was more than them during their own time. But today, we have a people, we have them. The colonizers. They have nuclear weapons. They have, a, a, you know, satellites to monitor your area. If you want, they block your site. 
and bringing bad people, terrorists, from every corner. And flood, flood your country with terrorists so that you not have peace. With, if you, before you know, they use your own brother as an option. You call on opposition. Because he want to be in power like you. So he will do everything. Tinibu signed everything with them. And that is what he's exhibiting. People are surprised what is happening. But uh, I know it. Because he signed, this is what he signed before Joe Biden could congratulate him as the president of elected, so-called elected, unquote, 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 elected president of Nigeria. He signed many things with them. Do you see? That's why they, they you know, the officially Nigeria is promoting GMO to their citizens. Uh, 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 food that uh, brings diseases, makes the population sick and weak. And they want it. Because uh, we, with weak population, you cannot rise up, you cannot even fight. You cannot even fight for genuine liberation. So you will be fighting for your health. You'll be fighting poverty. You are saying they, they put you, fix you into poverty. People, somebody stole 69 billion in his account, only one person. The, the money that could fix, build railway lines everywhere all over Nigeria. Somebody is in charge of it. And the Nigerian government is going to borrow crumbs. Making people more poor. So that you will not have the audacity, the, even the time to mind what government is doing, to listen that, oh, if their problem is government. No. Instead, you will be, uh, you will be looking for solution for your, how you are going to get food, how you are going to eat. Uh, you will be looking for miracles. That is what they have sentenced you. You know, after everything, hustling from uh, your age and you die, you leave the hustling to your children. And they continue. No person, now churches are becomes their abode, their solution. They don't have time. Because if you are telling them, ah, look at the problem we are having is the government, they, they, don't, they say, now nah, we want, are you, you, we want the food, give us food first. You are talking of a problem, this and that. That is not what we are for. So, these are man mad. This is the new colonialism we are talking about. So, when you, when you see what we are fighting, it is very huge. Mm -hmm. Very, very big. Bigger than you can, you can imagine. That's why many people, they will come and confront you and say, nah, just like, I believe, just like our leader is in, there in their hands. The politicians will be calling, coming to him Igbo politicians, mostly. Nadia, it's a real wolf. Nahi, not in a gap when we are happy. They will discourage you so that you become isolated. You feel weak, mentally weak. Na it's okay, but I hear. We cannot tell you not to stop what you are doing. We will give you a way to save your face, a soft landing. You will come out, people will still believe you. We are politicians. We know how to manipulate. It's we that make the people. We know how to make them. You will be shouting, talking as if you are before. But uh, no person we know that, unless very few, that we know that there is something that happened. So before you know it, that's how you be. You Look at our Wazri Khan with us. Nobody know. That is the discouragement. Every time they round him up, no person is telling him, Nara, go on. You see, no, nobody, 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 nobody. All his uh, siblings, oh, yeah. I go now that uh, go, we need money, we need money, we need money. You might just imagine yourself, um, as you are abroad, the whole phones, so your phone calls from home. Most more than ninety percent of the phone calls we end up with requests. That is how much in the car what is suffering inside. The able politicians will come, they will give him give this one will come, they will give him discouragement. This is now play play to the gallery. Let us help you. We know how to help you so that you will be like before. We will promote you. We have the media. 
any person that uh, challenges your authority, even if as you are no more doing like before, but we, we will help you. Money there, if you want, we fund everything. You use it to buy people. You know, we know. We promote you in the media. That is, these are discouraged. You continue hearing this thing from the one to today. Money as a request, money put the billions from here. These are that nothing. If it is you, how will you do? You no, know, no, just imagine. My imagine yourself in that situation. How will you behave? How are you going to just stand stand firm? Mother Kai Wokwa, Kai Wokwa, one years you on your own people, they will do things to make you not to uh, be functionable and of course any country that don't have peace cannot develop you have to have peace before you talk about development i'll give you a simple example about sierra leone every mining company that is in sierra leone today is owned by a foreigner every mining company if it's not the chinese it's the american it's the british our electricity Bumuna is run by the British and we still don't have light. We're looking for light, electricity. If you don't have electricity, how can you talk about education? How can you talk about health facility? How can you talk about improving the infrastructure of your country? We don't have electricity. Now, do we actually even have proper water, pipe-borne water, so that our kids will not be sick? We don't have those facilities. Why? With all the minerals we have, there is a cap you put. Before my husband became the president of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone was benefiting. They said, uh, what's the word? 0.000.1%. What is that? Basically, a company can take as much as $100 million out of the country in terms of minerals, and then they can just give the country $10,000. Now, what will $10,000 do for our health? Are you hearing the sad story that we are in? Are you hearing the sad story? <laughs> this is the reality that is facing us. That is why, fasten your seat belt. We are in a hall, in a, in a bumpy one. So that you become, if you don't know what we are doing, if you don't understand it, are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the level of neocolonialism in Africa is so overwhelming. The interest is too much. You know, where you are, where you are getting free, free uh, money from African countries, free gold, Free uh, diamond. Everything is free. Free crude oil. The other time they say Dangote is um, uh, uh, important, going to be important crude oil from America. <laughs> These are great, very great deception. Have you forgotten when they you do this kind of deception? It was it during the Babangida regime? They will carry our crude oil, be in the high sea. After they will bring it back, say they have imported the crude oil. They will write off that billions of dollars, write it off. Uh, do you see? And all these things is to the benefit of the colonialists. They will put offer protection to those cronies that they impose there. Don't worry. Any person that come out to kill them, don't worry. We we are in charge of United Nations. No person is going to who who will cry. You cry, you cry, you cry, you reach the United Nations, they block everything. The Afra genocide is it not uh, the West, uh, Britain, that is blocking everything. Anytime that uh, the war, the genocidal war was being rose in United Nations, Britain will block it because they have a uh, vector power. In the United Nations Security Council, you have vector power. Are you hearing me? So that's it. So they give a protection to their cronies, few individuals that are tormenting the lives of people. That is why people are ty becoming tired. That is why. Let me play you this um, 
this clip of what transpired in the court in Kenya. In the court in Kenya, we are one 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 brave boy stood up to speak defending himself he don't want to go through the normal uh, loyal pro, you know speaking for him he said no i want to speak for myself i don't care about the repercussion he said, if you want you can jail me 100 years that is not my problem but i'm sick and tired of this situation just listen listen please listen these are brave people that should that should be celebrated listen these are the the charges the prosecutor read the charges to him listen listen in a manner likely to cause a breach of peace by yelling shouting and attempt to disturb the photo shooting session by the cabinet secretary national treasury and economic planning and his delegates is it true or not true Listen, the boy will talk is it true or not true? Is it true or not true? I don't want to be too much concerned. Can you respond to what you do? Is it true or not true? You'll be given time. It's true. And as I said, I don't want to be too much concerned. I'm ready to do anything to see change in this country. I'm ready to die for freedom. I'm ready to die for justice. I'm ready to die for equality. You cannot continue living as slaves in our own country. In the land of our fathers, the land where our fathers bled and died to free this nation from the shackles of colonialism. Colonialism never really ended in this country. Even in this court, they use uh, colonial pinnacles, colonial laws. That is why I cannot get justice in a court of law. I want to speak myself. Uh, I, I realize that they have come in an extension moment in time. Yes, when uh, you must speak for yourself, nobody else can do it for you. The normal system, you know, the intellectuals, the law, the judges the prosecutors that uh, have phd they you know they go the normal procedure but this young man is sick and tired he say i don't care you know lawyer i let me express myself if you want to have that kill me that is not my problem these are the the spirit that we should imbibe i hear in me not begging we should not be begging begging for Igbo presidency begging for freedom begging for everything begging for these are the things in, but you see how the system the voices you are hearing the judge oh, no you have to say it's according to the law say the true or not true just respond to our question only now after the normal procedures european imposed system these are the system they use. The system they use in bringing down freedom fighters. The system they use in order to be maintaining us into perpetual poverty we are today. The miserable conditions we are today. The reason why we are running around everywhere in the world scavenging for life. These are the system they put in place. Are we ready to liberate ourselves? Are we really ready? Because it's going to be completely bloody. Those that are benefiting from our misery are not going to let up easily. Do you know that? They are not going to let up and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, leave Africa. Oh yeah, go, be Africa, oh yeah, go. Do you see how they are bringing terrorists, full and terrorists everywhere from Benin Republic? These are systems. <laughs> so I ask again, are we really ready for this? It's going to be more bloody. Are we really ready for this? Listen to this brave, brave boy. These are people that should be celebrated. Not uh, people that know how to do it, you know, in a normal process. No, this is not the way. No, no. We need people, mad people like Ibrahim Traore of uh, Burkina Faso, like Koita of Mali. People that are mad, that don't even understand. You come, you they don't even know. They tell you, say, go down from here. We have to get out from here. They don't care about the repercussion. These are the people we need in this time around in order to get liberated. We need mad people. <laughs> Otherwise, we continue in the same system. Scavenging, being thrown everywhere around the world. Scavenging, being 
put in, you know, in a state of slavery just to get our papers, our documents. We beg, we kneel down, we marry. You see a young boy of uh, 25 years marrying 80 years old woman just to get papers. As a slave, you are being spit upon where you are working, carrying sheet of uh, old people. You, 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 you know, uh, after you, are, you go and thank God, you cry for yourself. In your privacy, you cry. You shed tears, but you see, go and pray and say, Akashio Gobi, Akashio Bindi, are we ready to liberate ourselves from this? It's going to be bloody because the colonizers are not going to let go easily. Do you see how Niger, Burkina Faso, and uh, Mali, they have created a parallel to uh, ECOWAS? <laughs> Do you see that? That is how we need mad, mad people, not normal people. That is why when I see you, you start counting on uh, I have PhD in Harvard. I, then I take you as being inside the system. We need mad pe people that don't here come. People that are dedicated to the service of liberation of their people. They don't they don't care anything again. They breach contracts, they breach agreements, they don't go through the normal process. They do it as they, you know, as they have been inspired. These are the people we need. Are you really ready? <laughs> because it's going to be bloody, owing to the benefits of the West. Our misery is giving the West. Our miserable situation is enriching them, making them to live good lives, more good lives, because they are stealing and stealing and looting and allow their cronies to loot and deposit in their accounts, in their countries. They praise you, you know. Do you, do you think breaching this to be liberated is going to be easy? <laughs> do you think so? Look at the uh, Haji women. A place that is producing uh, uh, gas. The norm normally, the, almost the whole gas that is coming out that the Europeans need. Look at how underdeveloped is this. If they speak, they will bring the military and bomb and bomb them. This is what the West is sponsoring. Are you hearing me? Do you think liberation is going to be easy? It needs sacrifice, so how oh, sacrifice? And what, do you know what is sacrifice? Part of it is life. You can sacrifice life, your life. It needs blood. You will be blood, you. <laughs> are we really ready for it? If you are not ready, I go one is your co quiet no need team kuna social media on a radio biafra. I go one is your co marquan kai name. Either we become free or we continue being slaves. Because those that are holding us, they they are making they are. They, they are holding us very tight. Are you hearing me? They are benefiting from our suffering. The more we suffer, the more they benefit. The more we suffer, the more we live miserable lives, the more they benefit. And they will still come out and show us how they are helping us. <laughs> Do you see that? That is the situation we are, we are in. Are we really ready for it? I am tired, so sick and tired of living as a slave in my own country. And I've said this a lot of times, many, many times, and I'm going to do so many things, so many actions to bring change into this country. You cannot continue to be ruled like this, being ruled by sick people, by mad people, by liars and thieves and criminals. These are the people who are in power in Kenya, in Africa. That is the, 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 the situation we are living in. That is the kind of life we are living in. That's why people are dying and nobody cares. People are poor, people are suffering, nobody cares. So I don't know what's the role of the government. I don't know. I want to know today what's the role of the government to protect the people or to kill the people or to, to make the people suffer. I, I think we have failed our people. The government has failed. Everybody has failed. We have also failed ourselves. I, I don't know. My concerns will not allow me to keep silent. I mean, at any time, at any moment. I don't know whether this is going to come up anywhere, but... We must have this debate. We must have, we must have this conversation. We cannot continue living in fear. I see a lot of fear in this country. A lot of fear in the courts. Just yesterday, we saw a magistrate who was shot, shot by a police officer. I, I, I want to speak, my dear friends. I want to speak because uh, speak when you boys, uh, try to tell me to keep silent, 
uh, my heart is burning. You know, it's burning because of this country. Because uh, for 60 years, we have been living like uh, we are not human beings, like we are half human beings. We are considered like children of a lesser God. Now, this cannot continue. It cannot continue in any way. We are ruled by a minority that does not care for the interests of the majority. Politicians are lies and thieves. And they have stolen our freedom, they have stolen our minds, they have stolen our land, they have stolen our future. Politicians are established in lies and failed promises. We are victims uh, of lies and uh, failed promises, defied hopes and blasted dreams for 60 years. I don't know what will happen. I don't know whether you're going to, say, to sentence me. I'm ready to be sentenced for 100 years. But I'm going to keep speaking the truth until the day I, I leave this world. We cannot continue living like this. My dear friends, we must resist. Resistance is the only way for this country, for Africa. People are dying everywhere. Even in Congo, people are suffering and uh, we are silent. I don't know. We have failed as human beings. We have completely failed as human beings. We are on a test as human beings. I don't know why we call ourselves Christians. I don't know why we call ourselves educated people, civilized people. We are not. We are not civilized at all. We are stupid. And this stupidity is taking a toll on this country. Too much toll. It's so bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. We cannot continue living like this. The government. This is a hero. You know, we celebrate Martin Luther King, but we should celebrate this boy. These are natural freedom fighters. When you watch it, it he, this guy is speaking in the court, in the court, in front of uh, the juggernauts, where he's supposed to be shaking. But he said, no, I have to speak. Time has come for us to rise up. Resistance should be the duty. Why should we be hearing billions and billions and billions and billions being stolen and we are doing nothing? People are suffering. He said, we are going to the channels that are not meant to solve our, to give us solution." In churches and mosques. And we think that it, this is okay. These are the type of people that should be celebrated. You see, Kenya, he was arrested because of, uh, during the course of uh, the protest, of, uh, you know, he was being charged as usual. Oh, you struck, uh, they want him to start begging. You know, as a normal Igbo man, we always beg. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to. No, I didn't. He said, I did it. Until when should we be afraid? He said he is ready to be sentenced to 100 years. This is a natural freedom fighter. That is why in a revolution, you see natural freedom fighters come out. Because in revolution, no leadership. Revolutions bring out the natural revolutionists. Natural. They don't know Kunobi right from time, but they don't know how to come out. But revolutions bring them out. All this misery are sponsored by the West. People that, you know, partitioned us the way we are. People that created Nigeria. Different nations that have no business being together. They join us together and they always maintain that we must be together. That it is, that no, we, that is, we are indivisible. And it becomes our mantra. It becomes the mantra of Nigerians. And they make you know profits. They impose. They make. They make people profit from our being. You know, killing each other. They make people profit from that. So they say we must be together. Well, after all, God has made us to be one. That is how they they say it. All in I belong to Jigawa. So you see how they stroke up imbalance. Where there is a balance equilibrium, they make sure in order to. We remove the pin so that there will be always imbalance. You'll be shaking. You'll be shaking. And they'll be coming as a, uh, you know, uh, uh, deliverers. As a people that we help, help us. People that give the aid. Oh, we are trying to make sure that Nigeria works. But they are the people that created the mess. <laughs> are you ready? That is the question. Because the revolution, this uh, a thing we are asking for is going to be bloody. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Look at them. Um, uh, the, let me read this uh, last uh, news headline. Nigeria Chief Justice 
Nigeria's Chief Justice swears in Wike's wife, a Berechi, 21 others as best as happy court justices. When is there 12 for FCT High Court? You see, they train you and they train their siblings, their wives, their children to be on top of you, on top of the population. When are we going to rise up? <laughs> and we are there, they give crumbs. Do you see how you put the chickens in a cage? Just uh, practice it. Build one small cage. Carry more chicks. Put them in a cage. Every time when you come around, carry pieces of corn or their feet and drop to them on the ground. See how they see how they are happy. How they are happy seeing you, praising you, shouting. Oh, you have come. Pure, pure, pure. You are come. Oh, we are happy. Without them knowing that you are the person that put them in that cage. That is how they bless us. That is how they programmed us. After them, their wife will be on top of us. After their wife, their children, they train their children. You know, we, we must continue to be, be subjugated. We must be perpetually subjugated. That is the way the system, the 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 the, the colonialists, how they how they program it, how they program the system. Therefore, liberating from that is program. <laughs> it is going to be bloody. Liberation from new colonialism. How? It's going to be bloody. Are we really ready for it? How do you think that we can really remove ourselves from this? We are as they have colonized us everywhere. Language, oh, colonization. Food, oh, colonization. Uh, every religion, oh, colonization. They made us hate our own thing. And they imposed their own on us. <laughs> are we really ready for it? This is where I'm going to stop. I will open the line so that people will start calling in. I want you to give me your view, please. Because what we engage ourselves is not a child's play. What is the rationale behind a government that, look at American governments spend millions of dollars to mobilize the military, their own military, with the state of art equipment, in order to go and rescue an American citizen, one American citizen being kidnapped by Fulani headsmen in Nigeria and brought to Nigeria. They rescued him. They spend millions without even informing Nigeria, uh, 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 I mean, defense, defense, or Ministry of Defense. No. But uh, the, the, the system, the Nigerian system that is created by the colonial, the colonialists, I don't call them colonial masters, no. They are always there to kill their people. They accept anything, any policy that will kill their own people. They, they accept it. Are you hearing me? They accept any, anything, GMO, food, anything that is an anti-people, they accept just for them to be in power and to be giving the, the British, the West, what they want from our land, including our organs. They accept what is the rationale? Now, before I forget, let me read this also. Tinubu government creates Ministry of Livestock Development to address a headers from us conflict. This is how they deceive people. Now, they create what Mietiala have been yearning. They have created it for them. Do you see that they, are, they don't beg? They force you to do that, and you do it. What then is the work of the Ministry of Agriculture? They now give them a ministry that is exclusively for them. Budgets for them. They budget money for them. They call it a Ministry of Livestock Development. Do you see how they deceive uh, with the uh, English language? Uh, but uh, our own is we beg for everything. <laughs> we beg. Even uh, for freedom of uh, Mazen Namdekan, we are begging. Igbo leaders are begging. We beg you, please. Instead, even bring him out. Even if we uh, put him in a in a house arrest, your is is equals to slavery. Are 
are hearing me? It is also no, no benefit. Anything begging, begging, begging. Evil presidency 2023. Where is it? That one is gone. They are waiting for 2027 to come and start begging. Even somebody say, I think a good politician, Igbo politician say, I'm ready to do anything. Bow down. Even lick your ass for you to give us Igbo presidency. Beg it. They don't beg. They got what they want through their intimidation. They brought their standing army. The full army army. And you must do as they as they command. Tinubu government have created the Ministry of Livestock Development. <laughs> you see it. That is Ministry of Mietiala, Ministry of Fulani Hedgemen. Oh, everybody is for them. You don't even near there. NNPC that is uh, for crude oil that is in our land. You don't even you don't even smell their talk less of going to this uh, ministry. Oh, our oil, our crude oil. You don't even know the whole people they are in the upper echelon. They are full of it. And the Europa. Where are you? Nothing. But you are shouting, my oil, our crude oil, my crude oil. They want to steal my crude oil. Are you in charge? You are not. Now, they take over, they took over there. Now, talk less of what the, this Ministry of Livestock Development, they will have offices everywhere now. In every state, and they will be in church. The imagine now the Kalu say they are coming. Where is the Hanes and the World Ibo Congress that are, he said they are coming now? They will have the ministry everywhere in every state, and it is the full and it, it will be official. They will be there in order to uh, 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 channel everything. If you talk, they'll kill you. They have standing army, they don't beg, they are not like an Ibo beggars. I will beg us. We start from begging God, begging God and everything. Oh God, please uh, release Mazen Namdekano for us, no? In Jesus' name, oh, uh, we release, uh, give us uh, food today. Uh, we, uh, we beg, even for life, you beg. Everything you beg. I want to ride the car, please, God, Baba God, help me now. You beg. We are beggars. We don't get anything from begging. You don't get good things from begging for information. Oh, we need uh, Igbo uh, 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 politicians. Uh, we beg uh, Tinibu, we beg him anyhow. Please try, have pity. Release Namde, Mazen Namde Kano. Who tell you that you can get good things from begging? Just, just it's a simple uh, experiment. Go out on the street, all those people doing Barbaya. Go, do you, do you pass and give them uh, maybe one million naira? You give them reserve of what uh, maybe you take the last of coins. You know, Nigeria don't have coins now. The, the, that money that uh, maybe that 10 naira that no person uh, uh, you carry it. Yeah. Oh, it's still there for my pocket. Nah, as nobody wants to take this 10 naira or 15 naira, let me go and give it to them. You go and give to a beggar. That is what you give to a beggar. Something very bad. So how do we think that we can get the liberation from begging? Oh, we liberate Mazin Amdekan from begging. No, we need to stand firm and do something. That is it. Otherwise, uh, what a, a beggar can get. Just a rubbish crumb. Not only crumb, rubbish, rubbish crumb. Do you think that uh, begging, uh, they will tell Mazin Amdekan, oh, yeah, just, oh, yeah, go. You are a free man, oh, yeah, go. They will tell him, hey, you know what to sign. Stop your agitation. We will give you a leeway to deceive people, make your people understand that you, people will still think that you are the same person. We, now you go out. We will help you. We have media. We'll be creating different scenarios to, you know, to uh, make you, make people feel that you are still the same person. Uh, but uh, we know how to do it. Now sign and go. Do you think begging can make somebody, you know, get good thing that he wants? No. A beggar has no choice. That is what they say. A beggar has no choice. Anything he gives you, he say, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Until when are we going to remove ourselves from begging? This mentality of begging. Look at Fulani. They have gotten, they got it. They said they've got, they, when people are, are Moteco formed, uh, 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 IPO be formed, ESN, 
Me and the other say they their own is for the whole Nigeria. I'm not talking for West though, for Yoruba land. ESN for our land, the Biafra land. They say they are forming their own for the whole Nigeria. They take everything. You see it. And now they have gotten the, that ministry for them. And the whole billions of dollars that will be allocated, budgeted for it, for them, you don't even go there. You do you even go for to an NPC? Talk less of where you have, where they have taken, talk less of what they created for them. A ministry they created for them. Do you see how dominant species how they are? <laughs> they fight and get what they want. And they got it. Now they will come and whitewash it for you. Oh, this is to resolve, uh, to address a farmer's headers conflict. And you, as stupid as you are, you buy it. You don't know that it is for solidifying the fallen headsman. Solidifying it. You understand? In your village, in every place. Now he says ministry. What they do is streamline everything. That is how it is. Are we really ready for this? This thing we engage ourselves in. Are we really ready for complete total liberation? Owing to the neocolonialism that has taken over everywhere. Are we really ready? Let us imitate this boy, this courageous boy in Kenya's court. Normally, they expect him to be begging, you know, as a small boy. He'll be shaking and say, sir, you know, I was, I don't, I didn't know. They deceived me into the, sir, please, sir. You know, our people now, they know how to call, sir, 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 please, sir, 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 I, I beg you, sir. Now, we, we, sir, I beg, sir. Uh, I no go to him again, sir. The boy said, no, I don't care. Sentence me to 100 years until I leave this world. I will continue fighting, doing something so that with resistance we continue. That is how it is. Only that expression that is televised, it gives energy to people. Are you hearing me? Are we really ready? Because the new colonialism is beneficial to the colonialists. It's a, that is why they are living good life. That is why they have a, they maintain their nuclear fission. Electric electricity doesn't off. They have two four seven. It is ill-gotten stolen money from our side, from our Africa. That is what they are using. Everything free. They are paying welfare. It is mostly because of what they are stealing. Do you think that they are going to let go like that? And they oh okay, yeah, go, go, go free. They are in charge of the system. And we are fighting for freedom. It is not going to be free. In fighting for freedom is not free. It's going to be bloody. More bloody. It needs smart people. It needs people that are... In our call, people will take them and say, they are, they are, these are mad people. You know, when you want to fight with somebody on the street, you remove your shirt. You remove his shirt. remove his trousers. remove his pants. What will you do? You run and say, nah, this one, I'm a person. Oh, nah, I beg. Sorry, you. I beg. You run for your life. This is the type of people we need in this struggle. The type of mentality we need to put. Madness. The type who Burkina Faso did. Because France was saying, who can do it? <laughs> who will challenge us? America was saying, who can? Who can? In the jail. Now, mad people took over and said, we don't care for our lives. This life, we die only but once. America, you are the uh, superpower, but go. They can, they know they can kill them with special poison, with uh, 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 any type of poison. Are you hearing me? But they don't care. After all, everybody must die. So that is madness. That is what is needed because it's going to be bloody. So, actually, if I open the line, people should put mouths up beg. Are we really ready? How do you think that this we the uh, the colonialists will just uh, move out and say, "Oh yeah, take what you want"? How? It's impossible. It is for us to fight, to continue fighting, madly fighting, stubbornly fighting, consistently fighting until we wear out our enemies. We don't have any weapon, but we wear them out. That is how it should be. I will still go into a few minutes break so that when I come back, I will open the lines so that people will start calling in. Do not go away. I'll be right back.
Ninja don't carry sensors, what's out though? Or you bring your ear close, make me yarn. Anywhere you day, if not Biafra, you be. Whenever they won't count sensors for Nigeria, Kukuma come back to Biafra land though. Make them count you in your own land. Because during election, they killed us in the north and Yoruba land. And now them still talk say we not get right to vote in their land. So time don't come, make we boast our population. And if you no fit return, sell and get for your house. Make you no participate because them go out on a number for the region where we not day. Another one be say, if you dare not and your tribe no be full and eh, when you won't fill the form, identify your tribe. No go right full and eh, it is very important. In this census, if their friends go come back like tomorrow, no day, them go no say we plenty for this Obodo Niger where we day so. We go use this census exercise to ascertain our population and the size of amenities where we need in their friend territory. Remember, oh, every obstacle where we get for this freedom. IPO be done, they dismantle and small, small. And this population census go be another evidence to that effect. All hail Biafra, Biafra no will hail you. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mendes Mars, Jonathan Chinedu. From all the province of Biafra London, we are here live and direct today. It's the ninth day of July 2024. Our lines are now opened. Our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six, one, four, zero, five. One four two five four seven. I repeat, plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. You can call in and give in your view, please, because <laughs> what we are doing it is not easy. The colonial predators <laughs> will not uh, live easily. It will be totally bloody. Are we really ready for this? <laughs> are we really re ready for this? I know many people are watching the European game. I know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, uh, we need to. No, there's no problem about it. But we must continue doing the business that we are called to do. Therefore, are we really ready? It is a question I would like you to answer in your own way. What do you think? Because... They are making a hell of benefit, living good life out of our misery. You know why uh, slavery lasted for 400 and something years? Because of the benefits. For, do you know, four centuries plus. <laughs> it wasn't easy to stop because of the benefits. Different peoples are benefiting. Caller on what's up? Marzi, can you hear me? I think Marzi will be low. Marzi, can you hear me? Call on what's up. Marzi, below, can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Marzi, below, can you hear me? What is the problem? Marzi, Marzi, below. Marzi, can you hear me? Marzi, call on what's up. Yeah, please go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. As uh, for my own side, because the energy day when they go on a oil boil, they are better. The only thing they need here, one, they are going to go on the money book. I know that's it because no doors, other as in high enough some other world. That's the banana. I guess you are fighting that now. Take it easy, Anya. Problem with the lesson for now. Already, the main problem. Already, 
you know, because all that wound in Nagan around the ego, Simu Gudevani, that wound in Nagan around the ego, Mugudevani, all one argue good though from these people, Nibo, a hand with a clear word to dead people, because Gigash knew a mama Panama, or that walk, Cashin knew a mama Panama, fight one dodge, one dodge, one that. See what I would do, ma, what I would ever, Kaiser was in that, Pedro was in that, one by one. Oh, well, the man, see, I will not go, I will not go to him, them boys, was it? Yes, exactly, because in Mozambique, you know. This is freedom of Mozambique here in Mozambique through the Samora Machel. Oh, have a car, Chondo Choso. Oh, have a Chondo Choso. Secondly, all this in Damia and Rebecca. Oh, how are you? Oh, I love my one. It's in Dosa or Sha. Didn't they need a guy? I couldn't do those America. Oh, how good the like it. When I go and that, I put out him. Can you put the noodle, Mamma? I last, you can't hear this room in the room. I said, I got a guy, did I get a lasso? Nanda Niriani, oh, Mamana, Nanda Niriani, so. Oh, one double, a lot of money back and then I got an upper bar. On the again, go shut in that. They are going, damn me, hola, or because of the new representative. Was on the hand again, I again, I charge him for a hundred year for her. Marcy, as I'm cool, if you fight with us, fight on the in the mozo, bundle abroad, in Dorcha, last for Sihanam and Nahana be going high, the Rihanna high. Mazi, I put the one in the guy, show him an hour. Oh, I do my talk again. I got to the thank you very much for Mozambique. No, no, Mazi, Mazi, up up and up up and Oh, he yeah, has gone. And when I am to Borejo, when you are not boy, I think you are Because you are easier said than done. Because I now say, oh, God, boon, dear, God, dear, he didn't matter now. See, God, monitor on your auto, she abata, on your politician now. Utosia, but Utosia, uh, go on, but I go on the use, okay, you know, go on the mess of the lance, never with information. On your gain, I eat him again, I cook out. Yeah, go quiet again. Gakonia Hana, I see a monitor, go quiet that never couldn't enjoy a boogie. I can quiet go. Yeah, my place is double game. Can he game me? Yeah, I'm cruel. Oh, cook, I'm cool. Udodi, Udodi, Mazi, don't worry, don't worry. Um, another person has called Udodi. Oh, cook, I'm cool, you know. Because um, the situation on the the mentality, many of our people's mentality, the or the or the bad, or the corrupted. Oh, yeah, we but you know, at the Ike Gugi. Many of our mental, or only the politician, or only the Indonesian, no, Mandi Nonal. Many people, they corrupted. That is it. So, but um, we must continue anyway. We must continue. We must continue. Adaga, Mbobu Agog. Oh, yeah. But the Yemna Joe, are we really ready? For this genuine liberation, because Ndiji Ainala, hey, they are brutal. Ndiji Ainala, they ruthless. They are ruthless. Are we really ready? Because all got the bloody. Call her on WhatsApp, please go on. Please call also on Signal if you may. People can also call on Signal. Calls are only coming on WhatsApp. Call her on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Please go on. Call her on WhatsApp. Please go on. Can you hear me? Call on what's up. Call on what's up. The platform is yours. Can you hear me? Now, no, him, Neku. Call on what's up. Can you hear me? You Are you not calling on what's up? Oh, where are you calling on? Then it's your computer and again, my Biko. Go on, go on, please. Go on. Good evening from here. There were, there were. Yeah, according to our question, it's a we ready from my own side. You before I have decided. I have decided. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you, Marvin. I can hear you. So I, I am ready 100%.
as a person. I'm no value my life. I do not value my life anymore. If this uh, struggle has made me what I am, even that is the time we, we as a people, we don't used to sleep at home. We used to move. Uh, we used to move out. Sometimes they are stressing us. They are monitoring us. We don't used to have our meeting where we're supposed to be. So this struggle have teach me a lesson. So, man, we have we have already hundred percent ready. But the only thing is, if the leadership what time for if it is time to do it in Chakasaya, we are ready because. Trying of today, Let me hear. Can, can you hear me? Marze, can you hear me? Let me say something. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, just okay. What are to go? But we are listening. They will. They will. They will. I wanted to say so. It seems people are not hearing it. Let me reboot the the telephone so that if I'm talking, people will be hearing. Uh, meanwhile, my, uh, call on signal, please hold on. Let me say something. Um, this is a rhetorical question I ask. Are we really ready? The issue I want also you answer it by yourself. It's not a on you know because I could remember during the early time of this broadcast by Mazen Namdekano. People we are calling. Oh Mazi, I'll be in your back. I'm in your front. I can wipe out everybody. I can carry him over this and that. I tie people. I will hey, or now if you're everywhere. Some of all those people. Undio Mesriga and go. I could remember some people when box me. He in hug my main car, how my main car, my man, all just in the trego. We have passed this stage. Oh, it's not something you come out and answer privately. No, your private decision, how you are ready, how you can do this. No, I want us to understand that the level of neo colonialism in our land is too alarming, they are benefiting too much. Now, how do you think that these people can let go without a bloody fight? How, how, how? You see what they are doing with our government? They, they use our people that are supposed to be protecting us. They use them to kill us. Not only with guns and bullets, no. To kill us with lack of development, with lack of infrastructure, with bad policies, with even GMO food. They whitewash it and baptize it and, you know, make it to be good for you. They, they, they uh, share it to people. You know, they allow organs, our organs to be harvested without our consent. In Nigeria, Nigerian people's organs. So, how do you think that this should go without a bloody fight? As the West, they are benefiting heavily. On our misery that is what i don't want to hear oh i'm ready i want to i will blow the whole world yeah i am go far back i am go far 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 back and many of those people even in our kohana more ego culture they born it in a bona for a new one turn to her how change your voice now another thing so it's not what i want to hear here please Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Yes, my brother. Marze. Give me a moment. Let me put this uh, my listening device on. There we go. There we I hope I'm coming out now. Ah, you are. Okay, good evening, my brother, and uh, the friends and lovers of freedom. 
Uh, my name is Ifan Chukumada Aguchi, and I'm reaching you from the Netherlands. And my brother, <laughs> your question, um, are we ready? Uh, I must tell you that um, being a wartime, Anyway, you said you don't want to hear our, our personal direct, uh, direct disposition. Answer. When I say, uh -huh. are we ready? I don't mean only one individual, you as a, as a person. Yes, yes. But okay. I mean yes, yes, I, I get to it. what you are seeing. Owing to how people yes. could be bought with money. Owing to how our people yes. can be gullible. Are we really ready? That is what yeah. I mean. Not your personal, private. Now I'm ready. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, go on, please. Uh, I get you, my brother. Um... I will say that we, as Biafrans, are ready. What made me to be sure that we are ready is that all the attacks or, or, or you know, schemes that Nigeria have deployed to destroy IPOB did not work because IPOB is still intact and, and organized all over the world or in multiple of countries around the world. And secondly, very much secondly, if not even firstly, that before the calamity that befell us in this struggle, being the abduction and the rendition of our leader or extraordinary rendition of our leader to Nigeria, before that happened, by the grace of Hugo Kabiyama, by the intellectual capacity of our leader and of the DOS, the Eastern Security Network was set, organized, trained, and launched before they before the, 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 the kidnap our leader and the explorer in the nation him. And so it behold the, 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 the task, the very heavy duty task fell on the DOS to manage that, uh, everything that our leader has uh, and them have, you know, talk. Of course, some people fell away. We are put from money. If you are getting uh, X amount and somebody give you uh, 10, 10 times X amount, if you are not called for that duty, you will fall off. And we know some have fallen off. And, but we know that overwhelming majority of those people who swore and oath to guard our motherland are still you know, on their duty post, are still listening to command and control, and seeking discipline, and keep, keeping their eyes on the ball. So what we are saying, what I'm saying in effect is that IPOB as organization, we are ready. We know what you are saying about uh, the foreign interest that is, uh, you know, very, very strong and big and controlling everybody, everything. Even the mineral resources that is coming out in Delft or in Delta land and the, you know, uh, 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 wider Nigeria, they are in control. But you, know, you yourself have said it all. Anakwaka Asomba Wagog. Meaning that we will continue in our agitation in all facets of it, and uh, you or the brokers, we the commenters, the social media warriors, the evangelists, and the evangelism all over the world, and the people in the bush that in our land, and the Biafra in, in, in uh, what we call it, uh, Eastern Security Network. The IPOP Volunteer Command, the IPOP M branch, all these uh, uh, you know, um, um, uh, cylinders of IPOP must be firing at the same time. So let no one second and let nobody get you know a weak attack that oh we don't know if we can make it. We must have to make it. We don't have any any option. You see because this. Uh, this, this is the ploy of the foreign interest to demoralize them, to disorganize them, and then uh, make them uh, physically aware. And we must not give in to that. You know, what, what I'm saying this is that um, if you come to the Sahel before the past two years, 
Niger Republic was the poorest country of Africa. Of the world, even. What I'm saying this is that um, if the countries ahead before the past two years, Niger Republic was the poorest country of Africa. Of the world, even. Oh, yes, neocolonial countries. But they saw it that we, they were, the country had been led astray and let go. They are here already. And they said, no, 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 no. So now, the, no, no, you know, you have uh, uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger. You have was one part of Guinea that is, I think, Guinea Conakry that is also going that way. You have a Central African Republic. You have a child that is also. So people are waking up. And that is why these people refuse to give us Biafra because uh, uh, they know, they know us. They know that our people are, uh, you cannot take our people's money and eat it. And we know that your bank is nine billion of our money in, in another country and you come home. You don't, it, it, that is not obtainable in Biafra. You cannot do it. And that's why we must continue and do everything possible to restore Biafra. And I can give another example, Kenya. Kenya was a quintessential British colonial uh, uh, colony. And even in Uru Kenyatta and this Ruto that is here, let nobody for. And I can give another example, Kenya. Kenya was a quintessential British colonial uh, uh, colony. And even in Uru Kenyatta and this Ruto that is here, let nobody forget about the, the people of Kenya are uh, even, uh, as I can say, especially the youth, are even more politically mature than Nigeria because Nigeria, the pain of Nigeria is, or even the, what do you call it? Even the um, undoing of Nigeria is what the, what you can call Igbophobia and then Biafraphobia. And the bane of Nigeria is too, I mean, uh, what you can call the divergent value system. If it's not uh, ethnicity, it is religion, it is uh, feudalism, it is monarchical system. And we have, uh, you have what we call uh, republicanism or democratic system in our side. So, these things are rocking against each other, and that is why what is obtainable in Kenya, you cannot say uh, hope to see it in Nigeria. Unless a uh, part like Biafra tears away, and then we can make alliance. Because what you know what weakens this uh, neocolonial and imperialist is uh, when uh, regional people can make alliance with themselves, help each other you know, to build each other up. Then they cannot say, let, let's uh, put a uh, uh, land and sea uh, back uh, and blockade them and uh, uh, starve them. So that is just uh, an area we must be working for. Like minded people in our region, we, and even in wider Nigeria, we don't, have, God knows and they know. Any, and some of them are speaking of, I mean, uh, you know, some of the ethnic nationalities, the origins. Some of them are speaking of that what is happening to Igbos or the Biafrans in Nigeria is unfair, unjust, illegal, and it's not sustainable, it's not acceptable. And so it's like when uh, you know, when our leader before they kidnapped him, we had a good tete a tete and um uh, or man, according to the French, which the which the people from the West and other 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 regions of uh, of, of Nigeria. So that's what we must continue to tell these people: we don't hate you, but we want to be on our on our own. Not only the regions in Nigeria, externally in, around West Africa, in the wider Africa, and in the wider world, they know that a lot of these countries. Like, let, let me say, what happened in Piafra was exactly what happened in the Irish Republic under the British. And the same thing happened to the Indians under the British. The same thing happened to uh, Kenya. 
honor the British, starvation, mass killing, and looting the country, impoverishing the, the countries to enrich the island. So when we are making these uh, alliances, making diplomatic moves, I think we can make it because we uh, will not be the first to fight for the uh, you know depression and get it. You know, and again, um, all I can say is that um, what is happening in Nigeria is that, um, what uh, those people you call professors. You see, there was one of one professor of this. Uh, uh, agricultural uh, uh, agency, Professor Abdullahi Mustafa. Professor. Those who Quaker system professors, like Professor Tahiru Jekka, like Professor Mahmoud uh, Yakubu. These are people they call professors that are really morons, not even illiterates. Because an illiterate can be a smart person, only doesn't know how to read and write. Well, these people, they are ruining the country. They are, like this uh, uh, Abdullahi Mustafa, he's telling our people that uh, this is uh, mess, uh, GMO mess is, uh, is ready for people to eat. And then he asked him, uh, this professor, uh, uh, Abdullahi Mustafa, have you analyzed the seed, the corn, any maize and the rest they are wanting to stop, stop the people? Have you made the private analysis of the to know the content? Do you have the equipment? Do you have the know-how? Are you ready to work with beer friends who have the know-how? Like our brother, bro, uh, Dr. Njeman, God will bless him and bless his family for at least... Uh, saying God's truth. You know, so what I'm saying is that the restoration of Biafra, our leader said it one time, and I'm buying it because of what is uh, obtainable. The rising of Africa will largely depend on the on the on the restoration of independence and sovereign republic of Biafra. Because if you see the activities of people in the Sahel, the Sahel Alliance, and even the Senegal area, even the Kenyan area, you would think that they are listening to Radio Biafra. But, but the problem is that the people in Biafra land in Nigeria, Nigeria cannot uh, implement what they hear because of fear, because of tribalism, ethnicism, and religious uh, bigotry and dichotomy. But we must continue to sensitize our people. If you have any news for our people to uh, listen to our people like uh, our brother Dr. Okachi is doing, don't uh, put yourself too high. Uh, just come and bring it. And uh, Lecture our people, so let us not be like people who are talking like broadcasters or they are wasting time. We are doing the same job in that sense. In, the AK, in another sense, in that we must not stop our own contribution on every level or angle to help the you know to push the 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 the, the, the struggle and uh, Nigeria. There were. Nigeria, yes, my brother. Nigeria has no other option but to release our leader unconditionally, and that is what I would urge every every legal uh, representative of uh, IPOB or leader to be saying. This question of uh, can it is more uh, conditionally, it can it is more conditionally. It, it, it makes people mad. Release our leader unconditionally because the law court has said so. God bless Biafra. Thank you, my brother. Good night. The war. There were Marzi. There were caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Please go on. Caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Yes, Marzi. Go on, please. Go. There were. There were. <laughs> no need of all this uh, we never please go on, go on. 
with no need of all these praises. Thank you. My brother, all these praises, they have not worried the reality. You have to go. And the rest of the world, you have to go. You have to go. So, I can then give him the Kenepa leadership of IPOB, DOS. The Kenepa, the Eastern Security Network, the commander. Um, Mazi, the topic today, I don't know, man. And, um, Mu for me, I'd be very, very ready. Then you stand the lady, bro. Um, Mazi, I'm not going to say, I'm going to go to the Afra, the early family, yeah. Yeah, my family. So I really had them very, very full ready. Yeah. And the uh, came very, very well. Uh, only, only stage. I have no one at all. Only be able actually. But as soon as need this kind of person, diplomatic way, car badia. When car badia say, any require a bad If you mean a, I the very very ready for it. But only the para orientation, you know. So all those things, I'm very very full ready. Yeah, what more is it? I don't know for another person. For me, I can't know. I can know. I'm very, very ready. Baro? There we go. Sika, thank you very much. We must continue. Caller on signal, you'll be the last caller. Can you hear me? Caller on signal. Mazi Celestine Oba, can you hear me? Yes, uh, Professor Jonas, good evening from my side. Uh, Professor Jonas, uh, the questions you asked, let me specifically um, make my own remark. And the question is, are we ready? And um, I must tell you who added me. Within the sphere of my own personal assessment, I will tell you that we are ready. And the reason I say so is when we know that all the facets within the IPOB structural organogram, no one is talking from the leadership we've seen within the past three years, the war that we fought with the ends, and they will we still remain strong. And all of attack and counter attack. We in the local and the international levels, and you see our media is up and doing, our activities are up and doing, and leadership are up and number of this um, global family. Uh, and that there are some uh, elements within the uh, family that try to sabotage uh, minority. Uh, uh, seem as though we are not ready. No, they are bound to be. And the reason you will see all these things is not far fetched from the uh, new colonial activities, which, of course, we know that they are here and there, and uh, they are represented by their agents in churches in political, in social aspect of life and the every other levels of uh, all this, they are all, they are playing very, very vital roles to ensure that we are intimidated and subjugated into total submission. So the only thing I can say is um, we must keep up our game by trying to ensure that we possess the right mental toughness to be able to sustain this uh, struggle and at the end of the day we should come out victoriously. So that is the only thing. There we cannot, there is no absolutely that we can remove the activities of sabotage or treachery 
from uh, a family, a very big, large family like ours. So, but uh, the most important thing is um, that uh, of um, one majority of family members who are in this struggle are uh, doing marvelously, and I wish I continue to do so. So, Professor Jonathan, when I watch this uh, Kenyan, brave Kenyan man that you play his clips, I, I give it to him. And uh, when some of us begin to sing, I was most of our people get motivated because the game of freedom is not an easy something. We know that it's just like what they call in the zoo that where you fight corruption, corruption fights you. And uh, that is how it uh, happened because um, when you try to be free, all those um, uh, pillars that are holding you in perpetual slavery, they do not want you to be free. So it is on you to ensure that you persistently and they consistently do anything that you can do to ensure that uh, you regain your freedom from the shackle of bondage of uh, enslavement. Uh, so that is it, uh, Professor Jonathan. And uh, there lies the reason why I am of the opinion and supportive that religious uh, dogmatism and um, what do you call it? Is your dogmatism and uh, all this uh, fanatism in religion uh, it should uh, be something that uh, we must have to let people know the danger that it does to us, that especially in a struggle like ours. So when some of us begin to look at uh, religious teaching, like Saturday religious teaching, as something that should not be, so most of our people that knows that this religion is also a neo-colonialist uh, agenda, or you can call it a legacy, a legacy of neo-colonialism. So if our people are not being taught very much well for them to understand how it destroys our uh, level of healing, by impartation of foreign practices that is not organic to us. So many of us might not. It is through this teaching that some of us have come to realization that, yeah, uh, we have our ways uh, far from the stories they told us about our ancestors and the not of bullshit. So those are the things. Uh, Professor Jones, I can humbly tell you that our people are ready and that we it must match because there is how we must. Those about our ancestors and the know of bullshit. So those are the things. Uh, Professor Jones, I can humbly tell you that our people are ready and that we it must match because there is how we must. Uh, hello, good, good evening, Mark Jonathan. There were Mazi. Hello? Yeah, Mazi, Mazi, go on. Ganiro Mazi, go on. Okay. I'm going to put my name. 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 No am the colonel. It's a special woman. Gary Dija. He may encourage one after the other. Kaira Ilanya. Ihe chera, 
Niru, or Ilan and Mokwe was all was all map. There I go. No wola by the woman because he had no boar life and death. Ndi ocha, radio vya free, me lana mdi kani me pe lanya nde mato, kamara, condition, black people ono, me luwa. Ande ndi ocha vya de hama. Wele wute mna nde black, nde Nigeria, kari bandi ibo. Because of ego ha gerita ni iti ha uro. Okay. 
ihe bia mekwa anya ndi mmadu ndi na ege reje bia kwa kamara ihe nigeria mmini to africa awalida afa na alpha to africa it is very clear now only nigeria ka hospital federal hospital this is how Senator Uwey arrested the great. Can I have a slogan in the mud there? This is how there are school. This is how government. Apart from that, how to tell you, Jamie? How do you know? Where are you going to see? Where are you going to see? Where Mayor, please. Ile katanda ina, ile katanda black people. Gani eche? Uli ihe mere black people ni lula ibi. Uli ihe mere black people. Di buche ndi madu because of ego. Abali abol all these people. So many of them will return and will return twenty years again. I didn't tell you. Then they gave a whole generation. Only he gave me. Nigeria, not a radio. Now, what I say, Ruben Abati and their group. Kahama, you keep on them, Madu, Kewe, Joku, and Nigeria. Newspaper is full of the Yoruba, not full of Nina Nigeria. You know what I know, we deceive in the man because of money. You know, somebody will eat a good pocket, sixteen dollars. Now, make a back. Can you wait here in a messy Now, tell me how. Even in Europe, on the side of the command, while America, there are black men going to the command. Me, I want to hand it to you. I know you have a little bit of hammer. All this why? You want to black people to hate you? How can you? How can you for easy support to? Nam the Kano support to our EPOB. Because now they can't be able to save all the whole African black people. And they still, and they go sing in Abu. How we can do that? So, you know, who catch on that they still make information on IPOB. Now, I got a little bit of a You 20 years or more, or how many years? Let us stay where we are because of our people, our. our because right now, anything I am in, I drop all these things. Evil people, Nigeria people, black people, is gone. Because we are not going to be able to black and not do very bad. What you are doing, you are not going to be able to do that. You are Inye yon mwri ki inye. Nwa wwe go. Mwa wwe di opa o. Inye yon mwri ki me. Me yu wwa yon ando. Because o tutu di mwo na anna. Mba alo rogo. O go bi apra. Mbo di kulu rogo. Nene di kulu rogo aha la ka la. I talk to some few people now. So you have to fight. For me to do so. You are cheating yourself. Thank you very much ma say. Nde wo. We be the threat of those. Let us encourage one another. That is my my own contribution this evening. There we And all we have Biafra. Oh, hey Biafra. There we This way I'm going to switch off the phones. Thank you very much. Oh, we must continue. You know, what I want to bring to the psyche of our people is to understand the magnanimity of what we are in. 
the 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 colonial the colonialists are benefiting heavily on our misery which is the way we find ourselves looting not only our natural resources on the ground but also we the people do you see a country like um united kingdom anytime they want they will blow whistle and say ah oh, we need more we need more home care givers Football. do you see a country like um united kingdom anytime they want they will blow whistle and say ah oh, we need more we need more home care givers from seeing us uh, going to their embassies as a uh, you know hustling for visa they feel like demigods don't you see that they, you know, once they call, oh, who to come, come and they start a you know, hustling for visa. They feel like demigods. Don't you see that? They, you know, once they call, oh, who to come, come and they start a you know, we should understand that they are they will not live easily they will not leave us easily it will be bloody they are in charge of our so-called political elites they are completely in charge of the system so for them we are helpless but only the unity of the people will make us rise up in an organized resistance that is why we are doing what we are doing if we forsake ipob we are gone i am telling you Igbo people are gone ipob is the last line of defense the only thing that makes the the little respect or let's say fear little fear that is still reserved for Igbos is IPOB. And do you know what? The most pathetic part of it is that Igbo politicians and some Igbo business, big businessmen are the ones being used in order to try to disorganize what we are doing. But we are not going to let up. We are not going to give up. We are here and here for good. It's going to be bloody, but uh, we don't mind. IPOB remains everything we have. Mazen Namdekano is there, being surrounded by jackals, by wicked hounds, being visited daily, enveloped by people that don't want to, us you know, to, to breed discouraging him telling him that look ipob ooh, that ipob is gone <laughs> your ipob is gone oh so don't uh, uh, what is your wagi what is your wagi even if anyhow just what is your wagi no ipob again all these other ones are no more nothing that is the word he's been pumped in a day and night his siblings so lies upon lies. I ask, if it is you, what will you do? You are removed from the world of reality. As our brother said, yes. The most important thing on which I've been soliciting, IPOB should make sure the leadership to be given Mazin the kind of courage that do not listen to what they are saying. I am do not be deceived. IPOB remains one family. We are we are here and we go nowhere. It doesn't matter how hard it is. We have come to lay legacy. 
We are not here because it is easy. But we understand the consequences. We understand how tough and difficult it is. Because the new colonialists, they, they are benefiting. They have laid heavy foundations for our misery, which is giving them 100% benefits. But we must not stop. We must not even contemplate of stopping. Therefore remains our ideology, therefore remains our religion, therefore remains everything we have. Thank you for listening. From me, Ma Jonathan Chinedu, from here, it is simply good evening. Oh yes, my people, on our well done.